the arrival of Lumibot shaken the world here at Clever Photographer. We haven't had such a successful tool in years. So, of course, with that many users came suggestions, recommendations and requests. So, only 10 days in, we have applied so many new features and possibilities into the tool. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all of them so you can see how easy it is to use this incredible editing hero. Starting from the beginning, to get your new editing hero for Luminar Neo, just head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Lumibot. Once you get it, you create your account and then keep using it. 24 hours, no limits on images, no limits on photos. You can use it on your desktop or you can also use it on your mobile phone. In fact, this morning I spoke with a few photographers who already have it as a shortcut in their dock or on their mobile phone. You can have as many conversations, you have a history of the conversations and you can have as much fun as you want. So let's go through the 10 points of how you can use this incredible assistant. Okay, so let's start with the first point. No more limits on how many questions you can ask. You can ask as much as you want. In fact, I have an example conversation I had a few days ago when I was editing Blue Hour Photo. First, I wasn't really sure what to do with it and I remembered the Twilight Enhancer AI tool. I haven't used it for a while, so I asked how to use the Twilight Enhancer AI. Now the Lumibot went through all the different settings, talking about the different controllers, what values I can adjust and so on. It also gave me a link to the actual video, which I have recorded when the tool was done and I could watch that and just refresh myself on how to use this tool. At the top of it or beginning, he talked about presets, presets I could use for this specific tool. So. I continue the conversation. My next question was about talking about the presets. Well, how do they work? What do they do? So Lumibot explained me that the blush preset does something that the golden hour, blue, emerald, Maui, those presets and what do they do to the image? Talking about blue hour photo, I decided to use the blue preset. And the next thing I wanted to do is to try it an LUT, maybe enhance it further. So I asked which of the LUTs built in Luminar Neo would be ideal for this specific photo. And Lumibot went through the different LUTs and told me that the Tokyo LUT works really well on blue hour photos. So that was another information. It also gave me a kind of shortcut on how to apply it. And it was time to move on. Now I was looking at the image and I wasn't sure about the sky. So my next question was about which sky, built-in sky in Luminar Neo would be ideal for my blue hour photo. Now, I don't know how much you use Luminar Neo, but actually none of the built-in skies are great for blue hour images, but still some of the dramatic skies can work. And here you go, Lumibot suggested the dramatic sky too. Now, on the top of it, he also gave me quick suggestion on how to use the Sky AI tool. But I wasn't finished. I had one more question and the question was about how I can enhance the overall photo after the Sky replacement. And again, it gave me some suggestions on tools I could try, like Enhance AI, Develop Tool, the Landscape Tool and so on. So that's an example of a conversation. But in overall, it's important to remember there is no limit on how many questions you can ask. So the truth is Lumibot is here 24 seven to help you whenever you need inspiration or tip. Next important information is about uploading your images and asking for help, asking for some tips and tricks on how to edit it. I know that up till now there was a limit to five images, but that is all gone. You can upload as many images as you want. The only limits you have right now are the formats. So you can use JPEG, PNG or TIFF file and they have to be up to 20 megabytes. So if you have a raw file and you want to help with that, or maybe you are halfway through your edit, simply export your image in JPEG uh, below 20 megabytes, upload it and get on with editing. Now talking about the recommendations on how to edit your image. I think it's very important to remember that Lumibot can see the image, but he can't really edit it for you. So sometimes the recommendations will be great and sometimes they will be more like preset. You apply it, 
you may be halfway there and then you have to a little bit tweak it for the photo to really work. So don't take it as this incredible tool which can do it for you. He can do a lot, but sometimes you have to make a little tweak. In fact, I have a great example here. So this is a photo I have uploaded. It's one of my favorite captures from the Isle of Skye. It's a lighthouse with some rocks and a little bit boring sky. So Lumibot looked at that and told me some suggestions. He suggested how to develop it using the develop tool, what sky I could replace it with, specific sky, the dramatic sunset one, how to apply some glow, use the mood tool and LUT there. In fact, he was talking about the Anaheim preset or LUT because it alt golden warm and then mystical tool, super contrast tool and finish it off with vignette. So I want to show you how the result looks after I applied exactly these settings. And here we are. Incredible, right? Let's have a look at it before. So this is what you've seen and after really following it step by step. Let me show you. So quickly into edits. First, we work with the develop tool. Then we apply the sky AI specifically with the dramatic sunset one. Now talking about how sometimes it's not completely perfect. And one of it is masking. Uh, Lumibot cannot apply masking for you. So I have done the sky replacement and I had a little bit of color leak in the actual lighthouse because it's white. So I had to apply a little bit of masking to improve it. Then I applied glow, mood tool, mystical tool, super contrast and vignetting. And I think the result is incredible. How cool is that? So we have just uploaded the image, ask for help. This was the recommendation and this is the result. So no limit on how many images you can upload. And if you follow it and tweak it a little bit to your specific photo, the chances are the result will be incredible. Talking about keyboard shortcuts. Yes, Lumibot will now suggest you keyboard shortcuts if he thinks it's beneficial for you. Like this example, talking about raw development workflow. At the beginning, he mentions that you can use E to get into the edit module. Furthermore, when he talks about zooming in to 100%, he mentions that it's Command-1 on Mac and Control-1 on Windows. It also talks about clipping mask and the J key and so on. So that's when you don't ask specifically about the shortcut. But if you ask, for example, what is the shortcut for Erase tool? He tells you that it's Command-E for Mac or Control-E for Windows. And furthermore, like what is the shortcut for duplicating layer? He will tell you that it's the D on your keyboard. Now moving to the YouTube tutorials. This is something I was really proud of with the first version of Lumibot. The fact that the Lumibot was able to suggest specific links to the tutorials. So you could go ahead and not only read about the tool, but also watch tutorial. But now we made another step forward. You actually don't have to lead the chat. You can watch the tutorial right here. It's really simple. Just press on the button and start watching the tutorial. You go through it, watch it, and then continue with the chat. How about my favorite mood tool and the LUTs? Now, Luminar Neo come with a bunch of pre-built LUTs and Lumibot can now suggest you exactly the LUT you should try. Just like in this question, I ask, what LUT should I use for enhancing landscape golden hour photo? The response was, well, try the Anaheim LUT. It, then it explains why it also gives you a shortcut on how you should try to apply it. But I thought there must be more than one. So I asked a part of Anaheim, what are some other golden hour LUTs? And he answered further. For example, the grays, wooden, color punch, and so on. So this is really cool. Lumibot can now give you a specific suggestion on the pre-built LUTs in the application. So Lumibot can suggest you specific LUT, but he can also suggest you a specific sky. Now you already seen that in that lighthouse scenario, but just to reinforce that, in this question I ask, well, I have a dramatic sunset photo. I would like to change the sky. Which sky in Sky AI should I use or what would he recommend? Well, he suggested dramatic sky or dramatic sunset one, dramatic sunset six or the sunset clouds two. And then again, give you some suggestion on how to make it all work together. So LUTs and skies. How cool is that? Skies, LUTs, helping you with your images, answering your questions about the tools and helping you to discover 
new tools, those are all cool things. But when I designed the LumiBot first, my idea was to create something that will be able to answer your common questions. Like, how many seeds do I get with Luminar Neo? So it gives you the answer. Or can I use Luminar Neo for video? Or how to install presets in Luminar Neo? Or what is the latest version of Luminar Neo? Those are all some of the most common questions on Google when it comes to Luminar Neo. So we have built all of this in LumiBot so he's able to answer all your questions. So not only inspiration for your images and discovering new tools, but also normal communication. Again, super cool feature, which will make your editing and life with this incredible photo editing application even easier. How about LumiBot and other languages? The truth is that from beginning, I really wanted to make sure that the LumiBot will be able to communicate in more than just English. Now, of course, that many of these tools can speak French, Spanish, Italian, and so on. However, I think the real test is when you try to talk to the tool in Czech. Well, I'm from Czech Republic, so I basically ask the LumiBot, how can I use the Enhanced AI tool? And once you ask in your own language, he just go ahead and start to answer you in your language. So here you go. There is an explanation in full Czech language, including the video. Well, the video will be in English, but I still, I think it's incredible that the tool is able to switch to your language and you can just communicate with it like that. And finally, the big question about ChatGPT. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. LumiBot is safely stored on our website. All the knowledge is on our website too. That's where we keep updating it and it's completely safe. You don't have to go to ChatGPT website, you don't have to create your login there, and you don't have to pay anything extra to keep using the tool. So you're all safe, everything is with us, we keep updating and uploading new knowledge every day, and the tool is only getting better. I mean, it's 10 days later, and look how much we already improved. So if you want to try it for yourself, it's still for an opening offer. Make sure that you use the link in the description of this video, get it today and get probably the biggest hero in photo editing you ever met. LumiBot is the guy you want to have on your side whenever you're editing in Luminar Neo.